so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. I feel like I should be saying welcome back to myself because it feels like it's been ages since I filmed but I've had so much going on in the past few months and I moved house and oh as you can see because I have a different background but yeah I've moved house and it's just been hectic but I'm finally settled I'm back to filming and oh I chopped my hair off yeah I had my hair cut and um, that is basically what has inspired this video because the way I do my hair now is super different to how I did when it was a lot longer and I wanted to show you guys how I get this big curly bouncy hairstyle and this is definitely my go-to hairstyle these days in fact I barely straighten my hair because if I do my hair like this it will last me quite a few days I definitely wanted to show you guys how I've got this hair and I have had a lot of people asking me to do a hair tutorial and I actually haven't done a hair tutorial in I'm not kidding probably about two years so I'm really glad that I finally got around to doing this one and you're gonna see everything that I do because I am literally starting with soaking wet hair so I hope you guys really really enjoyed this tutorial and please leave comments in the box below if you want to see more hair tutorials or if there's any kind of specific makeup tutorials that you want to see and I will film these for you. Thank you! So I've just washed my hair and I've just towel dried it and brushed it through with my Denman paddle brush. Now before I dry my hair I just want to apply some root volumizing mousse and this is by the brand can't pronounce it but I think it's Joyco but either way I'm gonna put the link to it below but this is what makes your hair look super big so I'm just gonna make a few small partings in my hair and start spraying the mousse in and this is gonna give you a really really nice root lift and it doesn't have to be neat you can do it quite roughly it's fine as long as it goes towards your roots and I'm gonna start doing this all around my head <laughs> Now that I've applied the mousse in my roots, I'm going to just start massaging it into my head with my fingers. And now I'm just going to use the same Denman paddle brush and I'm going to start brushing it all the way through. Now the key to getting super big hair is to blow dry your hair upside down. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm now going to flick my head upside down, brush my hair forward and I'm going to dry all of my hair upside down. So drying my hair upside down has made my hair super big as you can see and I'm just going to take a round styling brush like this fabulous one and I'm just going to use this to dry the front of my hair. Now to be honest I'm quite rubbish at wrapping it around like the hairdressers do and drying it but I'm going to attempt to do it on the front just to get a bit of extra volume. So now I've dried my hair and you can see just how big it is. The secret to this big hair to be honest is using the root volumizer and then drying your hair upside down and that will make your hair super massive so before you even style it or back comb it you've already got really really big hair. So yeah I know I look like a lion but I am <laughs> gonna tame this and I am gonna start curling it now. Now to curl my hair I am gonna be using this Lee Stafford Argan Oil Jumbo Wand and I really, really like this one because it is a really big wand and therefore it gives you a lot of volume when you're curling your hair and it also means you don't get those really tight curls you get really nice big loose ones and they're the ones that I prefer so I'm just going to curl my hair with the wand now and before I do anything I'm just going to give my hair a quick spray with this Tresemme Heat Protector Spray And now to start off with, before I start curling, I'm gonna separate my hair into two parts. So I usually just take like a rough section like this. And I'm just gonna pin this up in a clip. 
out of the way. So now I can focus on the bottom half first. So I'm first just going to split that into two parts. Now the main thing I want to do with this is when I take my sections to curl, I want them to be quite big because I find that you get a nicer curl when you take bigger sections. So if I could just show you. So if you can see the size there, that's probably about, about an inch thick. That is the size of each section that I'm going to take. So I think from this much hair, I'll probably get about three sections, three or four. Okay, so now my wand is heated up and you have to be really careful when you're using a wand, especially if you're not using gloves. And I don't use the gloves and I bend myself, so just be really careful. So I'll take the wand there and I'm going to wrap it around the hair like so. Now I don't want to wrap all the hair around, so I'm going to hold the end bit and you'll see afterwards why I do that. So I'm just going to hold that there for about 10 seconds. Now if I just show you, curl, there we go. Now I'm not going to spray this yet with hairspray and you'll see why. So I'm just going to leave it here for now. Let it sit there. And I'm just going to keep doing the same with this section of hair. So again, taking quite a big section and wrapping the wand around and then holding the end bit. Also, this piece is quite close to my ear, so just if you're doing around your ear area, just hold it a bit further away, just so you don't bend your ear. Okay, now I'm just going to do exactly the same thing on this side. Now we just need to do the top half. So I'm going to take out this clip and I'm going to part my hair where I'd want my parting. It always used to be the side but I have moved towards a kind of centre parting so I'm just going to take it like this and clip this side up again. Okay so I usually wear it from the back to the front so I'm still going to do the exact same thing, take large sections and wrap them outwards around my wand. Now because my hair is feeling quite thick, I am going to separate this again into another section. So I'm just going to take the top half here, like this. I'm just going to flop it over, there we go. Okay, I'm just going to do the same thing with this section. Now I'm just going to take my fringe and separate that off because I'm not going to curl that with the rest of my hair. So it's probably about this much, I'd say. Okay, so for my fringe, I'm going to really, really softly just curl this once around the wand and also towards the bottom. So I'm not even really wrapping it all the way around, I'm just kind of slowly touching it to give it a slight kink. There we go, so you can see, like I don't really want much, I just want it to be naturally softly curled. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing now on this side. literally just letting them fall because I'm gonna tame it all afterwards. So they can just sit wherever they want to for now. So again, 
again, I'm just going to take my fringe out. Okay, so now my hair is all curled. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to brush it. I'm just going to use the same Denman paddle brush and I'm just going to brush through all my curls. So you can see that as I'm brushing it, my hair is actually bouncing back. And that's what happens when you brush your hair after you've curled it. it makes it really big and bouncy. Okay, now one of the last things that I'm going to do is I'm actually now going to straighten my hair. And I know that sounds weird, but with my hair this length, I actually really like it when the ends are quite straight. And that's why when I was curling with the wand, I didn't wrap the ends around the wand. So then you can get a really nice beach wave type hair kind of effect. And also I'm going to use it for my front bits, because the only thing with using a big wand is it doesn't get right to the roots of your hair. So it can sometimes leave a weird kink. So I'm just going to get the straighteners and I'm going to go over the top bits and I'm also going to straighten the ends. And for this, I am just using my normal GHD straighteners. Drop it. Now, even on the front bits, I'm not running the straighteners all the way through the hair because I've already curled it. It's just mainly for the top bit. Okay, now for the ends. So the best thing that I do is I just grab the whole hair like this and just do that. And you can see it's actually giving a really nice beach wave effect. And I'm just going to do the same on this side. So now after doing all that, I'm going to apply some hairspray and so the reason I didn't apply hairspray after I used the wand was because I knew I was going to be straightening my hair and straightening your hair when your hair's already got hairspray in is really really bad for it. It can lead it to get really really damaged. So I held off on the hairspray but now I'm going to go in with this Schwarzkopf Silhouette Hairspray and this is Super Hold. So I'm just going to spray this all over my hair. <laughs> I am going to backcomb it. So I'm using my Babyliss backcombing brush and I'm just going to take little sections from the back to the front and as I'm backcombing them I'm going to spray them straight away with hairspray and that's going to make my hair huge. <laughs> and I'm just going to go underneath and do a few more bits here. Now I obviously haven't set it yet but you can see how much bigger this side, is, this side of my hair is compared to this side. So I'm just going to back comb a bit on this side as well. literally all over the place right now so I'm just going to take my back combing brush and I'm going to tame it. Now you don't need to comb out your back combing but you can just softly brush it down. Now I'm just going to do one last round of hairspray. There we go guys, all done. You've just seen how I transformed my soaking wet hair into these huge curls and it is a lot of effort but it is so rewarding once they're done because to be honest they actually last a few days so if you do them on the day as soon as you ugh. So if you do them as soon as you wash your hair like I have, then they'll probably last you two to three days. And even if they drop, they actually go really nice and like loosely wavy. Now I love doing these curls in my hair, especially if I'm going out, but obviously I know I have used a lot of products in it. And therefore I definitely do not do this every day. It is more of an occasion kind of hair, like if I know I'm going somewhere. So I hope you guys can now finally see how I get my super 
big curly hair. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.